last time on the Lazy Geckos. What's going on, man? <laughs> you find a spot up here? This is what sailing is all about. Hobie Sound Bridge, Hobie Sound Bridge. But right in the middle, it's pretty good. And then when we came to the drawbridge, they went firewall thrust. Do you know the water pump's giving out? Oh, come on, baby. Reese is pooping <laughs> in the other head with the door wide open, like checking his foot out. You go poop. <laughs> they were stacking up on the bottom. <laughs> Would you grow up? There seems to be a problem. Yeah, I need a bright engine. Third engine is having trouble. The last right. engine? No, the right engine's not functioning. It actually just went max thrust oh, in reverse. Everything can go wrong, it will go wrong at the worst time. <laughs> hey, I need a beer. Bad, right? Look at this. So this is what it was plugged into. Basically, we, were, we replaced the receptacle. Welcome aboard. Thanks, baby. got the water maker running but there was a little leak and it was underneath the membrane so we had to remove the membrane which involves some wigging fittings and stuff like that so took them off uh, tighten that one down now we're putting it back together run it again and see if it leaks I'm sure it'll be wonderful should be good but we're making water is this under high pressure right now or no no it's been depressurized put that strip down perfect perfect yeah it's out but you can give it in there, get that on there and then Seven eighths would be fine. I think then, I got a short seven eighths. Mm -hmm. That's fine too. Hey, Brittany. Oh, hi. You can come stand on the steps, and you can be able to. See, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. This is awesome. This access. I'm gonna need you over here. I can't. I can't. I can't do this. This is the Clark pump. This is the high pressure pump that makes your water. It's mounted. Up on the wall, usually it's like this, but the hydraulic unit can be mounted upside down, right side up, doesn't matter. It's up on the wall. Seawater comes in, goes into this 20 micron filter, 5 micron filter, filters it down to 5 microns, and the water comes out, comes into the high pressure pump, which is the Clark pump, that's this on the bottom. Water goes in, there's a piston in there, it's a high pressure piston pump, once it's turned on, it starts going back and forth, building up pressure. Once it reaches 600 PSI, the water starts going through the system and comes out. But before it goes overboard, it recaptures that 600 PSI water, pumps it back into the system, and it raises the water pressure up to 800 PSI. You have to have water at 800 PSI for a reverse osmosis to work. All water makers have to get water to 800 PSI. It's how you get it to 800 PSI. So this one does it very energy efficient and very quiet. Forces the 800 PSI water through a membrane. The membrane's what makes it happen. The membrane's almost like living skin rolled up in a tube. You force water through a membrane at 800 PSI, fresh water and salt water separate. Fresh water goes down the tube in the middle, goes into your water tank, salt water is expelled overboard. It takes 10 gallons of salt water to make one gallon of fresh water. It's a 12 volt DC system, it runs off battery. Usually I mount these under the bed, of, under the bunk in a boat. It's underneath your bed, that's how quiet it is. Besides installing the water maker, we also had to repair the transmission that was stuck in reverse. The problem ended up being this little rod that broke off the transmission's gear lever. Okay, so now we just back this off and then be able to... Yeah, and then we can adjust the, mm -hmm. the throw. So. Cool. Remote activated. Oop, where's your flashlight? I'll light it up. So this will be forward thrust. Now thrust. Okay. And that should solve our transmission issue. And Boom. then it will be the same thing when we get to Tampa after the new uh, engines are installed except it'll be uh, actually more detailed and I'm going to have uh, a technician come up and he'll actually reprogram uh, the Yacht Commander system uh, to make sure the throw is the exact right length. So, looking good! Yep. Maybe we'll get offshore. If we can get that darn dinghy repaired, we'll be way ahead of the game. Let's do it. Boom! After three to five years of use, you've got to take this off and put a new one in. I can take this off in ten minutes, have it on the dock, change a membrane, put it back in, and the whole process can take an hour. Doing membranes on a regular system, several hours. 
This makes about 16 to 18 gallons an hour. What's going on? I was uh, trying to adjust the idle, get it running better. It's running a little better. It's getting looser? Yeah, it's perfect now. Doesn't hang up at all. That's it's funny because the, the, uh, the steering, the hydraulic shaft looks perfectly smooth. So what did you do? You put a little... Put a little bow shield on it and I could look inside the back here and see that the little uh, hydraulic pump there that you twist is moving. So it was just... It, probably there was a little bit of salt or something that got sucked into the seal. Yeah. And uh, wouldn't let it move. But it's not leaking at all. And yeah. now it's glass smooth. We're good, baby. You want to give it a little crank without the choke to see if it starts? She needs to be uh, taken out and run around in circles for a while. It'll flush itself with fresh water for five minutes, and then it'll go into an automatic timer. And since this has a Z ion system, it'll automatically fresh water flush itself every 30 days if you haven't used the unit. There's a silver rod inside that filter right there. Right. And its electronic charge hits it and activates it and it discharges silver ions into the water. It's a very minute charge. That supplies the charge to the filter that ionizes the water. Therefore, you only have to change the water every 30 days. This is what a boat looks like when you're working on it. A disaster, but not so bad when you're on a catamaran. What'd you say? I know, I'm filming it. <laughs> We're working on the boat in Fort Lauderdale, our little stop. It's been very successful. Well, we got the water maker done. We got the power figured out. We got the engine figured out. The dinghy's working. This was a successful three-day stop. Yep. Uh, almost 12.7. And I think it gets up there at about 13.1. When we have 13.1, the generator is very happy on start. So the generator on PDQs and Antares is an isolated unit. It has its own start battery. That start battery is not charged by anything on the boat except the generator. That way if the boat has a power leak or somebody screws up or we have God knows what kind of problem, in theory we always have one good battery, which is the generator start battery, which can save you because then we can take care of everything else with the generator. Problem is, is there's no way to keep topping off the generator start battery except to run the generator. And what we found is even with really good high quality lifeline AGM, the electronics on the generator, because it has a digital control panel, slowly draw down the battery. And so we're seeing, you know, the battery only holding like 12.1 volts after a week or two if you're gone. And then when it goes into its start cycle, it's starting with less than 10 volts. So I put in a small Marinko battery, which is now on the boat's inverter. And so it can keep the battery always topped and uh, should keep it a little bit healthier. And then what we'll do is uh, I'm gonna install the, uh, the mounting base today and then let it dry overnight and then I'm gonna screw in the charger tomorrow when it can take the weight and then I can give you a complete tour of how I did it. This is the remote control panel for the water maker. You don't have to sit down in the bilge and do everything. There's a control head like this on top of the unit. This is the one that's up here in the main salon. Say I wanna make some water. Auto run, bang, I turn it on. It's gonna run for like two hours right now. After it runs for two hours, it'll go back into auto flush mode, flush itself for five minutes, and then go into a 30 day timer. So right now, it's going into its startup process. It's a soft start motor. It doesn't just jam on and shove everything. It slowly comes up and starts to, uh, starts to make water. It's neat because you can, everything, run it from here, you don't have to go down, now it's making good water. It, that took about 30 seconds from when it went on until it's making good water. It's sending water to the water tank right now. After two hours, it'll flush itself. We know it's making good water, we're done for the day. It would usually automatically shut itself off and go into flush mode. I'm gonna manually stop it. And then now I'm gonna go into fresh water flush mode. Now it's gonna flush itself for six minutes. Fresh water, shut itself down then if you don't use it within 30 days, it'll flush itself and then wait for you to use it. So apparently the cure to working on stuff when you're damaged is what? 
Advil. Advil and. Do you want one? A beer? Yeah, I want a beer. That nifty fridge. John, need a beer? Uh, yes, please. Thank you, thank you, bartender. It's uh, five o'clock. Somewhere. You know what time it is? Cruiser's midnight. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> it's a sail guitar. I could turn on. <laughs> so here we are. And oh, by the way, this never works on the first three tries. So I hope you have a lot of gigabytes. Oh, yeah, feed it in. There you go. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Ooh. This has to be YouTubeable. <laughs> I can't remember which bead I put it in last time. I'm gonna put it in the forward one. There's uh, so here's the bead, and there's a channel here, and this uh, this foil has two channels, and I just can't remember which one I had it in last. I don't think it matters. Going up. Yeah. We've been itching to put this sail up since coming aboard. We're about to leave the ICW for some offshore passages, so it was time. If you ever hear a sound on a boat that doesn't sound like anything you've ever heard before, <laughs> that is the boat sinking, burning down, <laughs> running ashore, being run ashore, or something not good happening. Well, the head explosion, exploding. The the head head, ex the head exploding is a uh, it's a new one. It's a brand new head, and uh, no, when I, it sounded like, what's that sound of rushing water? If there's rushing water on a boat, it's bad. <laughs> what you do? We run to the sound of rushing water and we go, oh, the brand new rare tan marine head just exploded. <laughs> but that's okay because. It could have happened 20 minutes ago while I was sitting on it, and that would have really been awkward. <laughs> Otherwise, right now I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm clean. Uh, I, I feel good about myself, and the bilge pump works. The bilge pump works. So we think, right? So we think. No, I, I heard it kick in. Yeah, I'm glad your toothbrush little head was covered. Yeah, exactly. Nothing, oh, hey, that was fresh water, see? by the way. Oh, yeah. I just stepped in a puddle. Yeah, no, so that was basically, that was basically, we came in here, or John came in here, water was playing everywhere, and if you look in the back, this is all that happened. This little nipple popped right out of the He's surface. It's a nipple. <laughs> so we're just gonna, it was, it was installed, not by John, by somebody else, and it was a little bit short. So I'm just gonna try to bring this up a little bit, real tight, put it in as far as I can. If you're at a dock, up at the bar, having a drink, and you're gone for like five hours, and you're on dock water. Yeah. That's how you sink a boat. That's Sit there crazy. and pump as many gallons as it could into the boat till it over overwhelmed the uh, bilge pump. So I seriously like. There have been some things happening on the boat that I'm like, wow, like the power cords. Yeah, that sure, like we were sure, gone. Sure. But sure. don't you think like some crazy things have been happening where it's like, okay, we could die. Or... I don't know about the wee shit. You're staying on the boat. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going to the freaking Hyatt. I'm going to get myself a club lover room. Uh, the Hyatt's uh, the, my if favorite. The if the toilets explode, <laughs> no one cares. I, I call someone. So when we say we dying, it's more like you. Yeah. <laughs> is it a sign? <laughs> yes. Can you turn it back on? Is, is there pressure to it? Uh, there should be, but I'm going to turn it on. There. If it blows again, it's a blue line. What's blue line? How's it looking, honey? Looking good. So the head combusted for a second time. Yeah. Right, is that sweat or water? Oh, it's sweat. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's sweat. Maybe a little bit of piss from playing around with the head. 
Ew. Whatever. Okay, so what are we doing? It combusted a second time. Yeah, well this little thing just slipped back out, so I'm throwing the clamp on here if I can. You know what, I might even take that clamp off and just put this one on because it's a much better clamp. That's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> Put a big ass clamp up top, and then I put that weak clamp underneath that big clamp, so there's two on there now. Right. Then I put one on the bottom, so not too tight, but tight enough not to let the hose slip back down. So it shouldn't be able to come down enough to pop off. Okay, now you're talking, my friend. If it pops off now, um, Brittany's next. <laughs> you're like, how can I help? I was like, clean this up. Sorry, honey. I was drinking my beer. That's okay. That's what I expect. a ton of tasks during our time in Fort Lauderdale. Now we need to top off the diesel tanks before making our way offshore. John's, John's told us it's an all nude sail today. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna wow. find out. Think you can handle John all nude? <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. So you place it in the bag, you put the lid on top. I'm a cat, rare, rare, I'm a cat. Between six and eight, apparent. Let's try it out. Yep, I think it is. Who do you like anchoring more with? She's up, she's happy. Beautiful job, honey, what kind of knot is that? Uh, you know what, this is more like triage. 64 gigs per card, we have four cards here. This is an awesome day. Down to the bow, flashing up the mic. These videos are fueled by Patreon. For more fun, check out our Vimeo series.